As Piccolo surpassed the powers of a Super Saiyan and beyond in Dragon Ball Super, welcome Dragon Ball fans to another Dragon Ball discussion video where today I am joined by a very special guest, a good friend of mine, a former voice actor for Dragon Ball Absalon. Please welcome Devil Artemis and you guys can find some really awesome content on his channel. I will leave a link down below for you guys to go on ahead and check him out. And today's topic of discussion will be involving Piccolo and us giving our thoughts on whether or not Piccolo has truly exceeded the expectations and become Coming even stronger than that of an Ascended Saiyan, and I also want to let the viewers know that if your opinion differs than ours, if you guys have anything to add on to the conversation, feel free to post your comments down in the comment section below. Devil Artemis, welcome back to another Dragon Ball discussion video. I'm actually kind of happy that you're here because I want to talk to you about the events that have occurred in Dragon Ball Super Episode 88 and seeing Piccolo fight Gohan and seeing Piccolo train Gohan. I want to get your thoughts on the way we saw Piccolo function during that episode, and if you believe that Piccolo at this very point has even surpassed the powers of an ascended saiyan considering the fact that after we saw piccolo speak to gohan gohan pretty much asked piccolo as to where he had gotten this power from with piccolo having to tell gohan do you really believe i did nothing this entire time that you were studying and researching so with that indication i think that definitely piccolo has been doing something to keep himself rejuvenized and relevant within the show even though significantly speaking he hasn't reached the calibers of goku or vegeta i think we can all agree with that but when it comes down to a regular Super Saiyan and a Super Saiyan 2 as we've seen with Gohan my question to you is do you believe in your opinion that Piccolo has truly now exceeded those limitations in transcending his power beyond that of a Super Saiyan 1 and 2 based on how we saw him fight Gohan well first I want to thank you for having me Alex no problem, you know, man. But yeah it's it's, it's always a pleasure to you know make, make this content with you thank um you. but I definitely think that uh we have we have to examine um how Piccolo was in the past to understand where he stood to how to how he, compared to how he is now right so if we go back to the cell saga his limitations would probably i would say be android 17 level um you know he, he encountered an imperfect cell there's that you know that one scene where he goes you feel my power and it's hard to bear <laughs> you know yes. like 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 imperfect cell was was definitely um a threat to him at the time and you get you know he got his hole blown in his chest and um i've if we t if we time skip over to the Buu saga, now the Supreme Kai was strong enough to one shot Frieza. This is official because it was stated by the Supreme Kai himself, and the Supreme Kai was um, he thought that Deborah was very intimidating. Right. Goku claims that Deborah was as strong as Perfect Cell. Whether it's Super Perfect Cell or regular Perfect Cell, that was never really explained. Right. But um, if Piccolo were to fight against the Supreme Kai, who's far stronger than Frieza, who I would also put in maybe in perfect cell level. Uh, Piccolo, I feel like, w wasn't afraid to fight the Supreme Kai um, because of strength. It was more so because of he he had Kami inside of him, and Kami knew his rank. The ranking, Ka yes. Yeah. So I think Piccolo has always been near Super Saiyan 2 level, and this is after, you know, the seven-year time skip. Um, when Piccolo was actually fighting Cell Juniors, when the Cell Juniors were summoned against uh, Cell and prior he was, to that. he was one of the few that was, you know, yeah. keeping up with them by himself, while Goku yeah. and everyone else was getting beat down, correct? Yeah. Yeah, everybody else was, was, was struggling with the Cell Juniors, and Piccolo seemed like the only one alongside with, like, uh, Trunks, I think. Yeah, probably Trunks. Yeah, Trunks, uh, I think, Vegeta, I don't know, Vegeta. Think, yeah. Yeah, Goku was on the floor, you know, Yamcha, everybody was getting wrecked. But Piccolo was, you know, doing doing good for for his own, and the Cell Juniors were just as strong as Cell. So I feel like if we take an even bigger jump from the Majin Buu saga till now, it justifies his power. Piccolo said, you know, Gohan, you've been slacking off, man. You've been studying your books, and you haven't been doing martial arts, but I've been training. He's like, I, I have been going hard, man. I feel like Piccolo at this point in Dragon Ball Super is far above Super Saiyan 2. But he's not ultimate Gohan level yet, as we obviously see. Yes. But he definitely, for sure, is far above Super Saiyan 2. He could, if Perfect Cell would have come back, if he were to fight Perfect Cell, he could whoop Perfect Cell no problem. That that's that I feel is guaranteed. Just just from the training that he says that he's been undergoing and that we saw that he took on a Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. I mean, th there's nothing more you can say. The guy has obviously been training hard. No, he's definitely improved, and we saw the way he choked him out, which I thought was very surprising because, 
you know, Super Saiyans, as we've seen in the past, we've seen them be very durable in battle. We've seen how they were able to sustain lots of damage. And we noticed also in this episode how Piccolo was telling Gohan how he has become very powerful, but he noticed his weaknesses and he actually exposed those weaknesses during battle. And I think that what made Piccolo so good during that fight was his strategy. And for example, people may go back and say, well, look at what happened with Ultimate, with, with, uh, Ultimate Gohan and Piccolo. Correct. Even to that, even, you know, even to that very scene, we saw how once Piccolo got his arm cut off, he was still able to outsmart Gohan in dropping his guard and shooting him from behind. So I thought that was very clever, even though there is a clear power difference between Ultimate Gohan and Piccolo, not saying that Piccolo has reached that kind of a caliber, but in, but in comparison to a Super Saiyan and a Super Saiyan 2, I would have to agree in seeing the way he fought Gohan, even though Gohan cannot be compared to someone like Goku, because it'll be kind of interesting to even point out, well, can Piccolo... Uh, you know, use the same feats that he had during with, during his fight with Gohan and using that against, you know, Super Saiyan 1 Goku or Super Saiyan 2 Goku, how would that, you know, fare off? Because obviously enough, Goku in that in those forms are much more powerful than Gohan is. So you have to make that comparison and say, well, can Piccolo do as good of a job, if not better, fighting Goku in those forms than he did Gohan? And I think that indeed that's the case. As we've seen with 17, so far, mostly everyone that we've seen in comparison to characters have been able to best Super Saiyan 1 or Super Saiyan 2 which I do think that those forms have become a little bit obsolete as we keep seeing Super Saiyan Blue and now Ultimate Gohan. But seeing, seeing as how Piccolo was able to demonstrate strategy against Gohan, how, how, how useful do you think he's going to become in the Tournament of Power? Because also what I've noticed towards the end of the episode was when Gohan was asking him about trying to come up with combos and working more or less together after they shook hands. So how deadly do you think Piccolo is going to be going into this tournament as opposed to how he was during the Universe 6 tournament because the whole, you know, the whole sequence between between him and Frost, I think, was definitely underutilized. I think it was a complete waste for Piccolo, and there are a lot of Piccolo fans that would say, yeah, I mean, that fight wasn't even fair because Piccolo's not known to just wrap his hands around someone and just focus from, uh, you know, a special beam cannon right off the bat. And, and right. which he did with Frost after he got before he got poisoned. So, w how useful do you think Piccolo is going to be going into this tournament as compared to how he was before? Well, let me start off by saying that Piccolo, Roshi, and Krillin will be the most useful for the tournament. And before everybody jumps on, jumps on me and says, "Why? What are you talking about?" The reason I'm saying this is because uh, Piccolo has the experience of the tournament scene. Yes. This tournament, people have to understand, there's no flying, right? And you can't kill people. Yeah. Okay, so it's it's grounded combat. Um, and on top of that, uh, you have to knock the person out of the arena. So, Piccolo has had most of his time to shine in that category in Dragon Ball. Back in Dragon Ball, it's a completely different environment than Dragon Ball Z and Super because there is no flying around, screaming, powering up for like five minutes and blowing up planets and islands and stuff. Yeah. It's all about technique and martial arts. Very strict martial arts focus on that series, which is what I enjoy about Dragon Ball because it really is like about technique. And I feel like Piccolo and Krillin Goku and Roshi, even Tien Shenhan as well, they all have that martial arts experience, which is the majority of the Universe 7 team. So th the fact that they have this experience, they have this um, element of surprise, an element of, of technique that they can use to knock their opponents out of the arena ra rather than kill them or overpower them with like a, a giant key attack or whatever, they have the ability to trick opponents. Master Roshi has a lot of tricks up his sleeve. Piccolo can probably... Uh, use his technique how Tien can and they also they they separate their bodies yeah, and create as we see with multiple... Gohan, he was able to catch yeah. him off guard several times oh yeah and, and 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 like you mentioned before when piccolo's hand you know was flying behind gohan and he fired him with the key blast and caught him off guard piccolo is smarter piccolo has always been a smart individual in dragon ball he's always been intelligent and uh more intelligent than anybody else that i've seen so the fact that piccolo can probably outsmart his opponent that's what I'm looking forward to see like I want to see Piccolo come up with some shady stuff or like some crazy stuff It's like oh man I can't believe he did that you know like I I'm pretty sure that Piccolo is going to have the upper hand here he doesn't really need to be the strongest as you can see he wasn't as strong uh, it he wasn't able to deal with Frost too well in the beginning in terms of strength but he outsmarted Frost and he was faster than Frost and created mirages and things like that to give himself time to charge up the special beam cannon absolutely so you know if that would have hit Frost 
it, it would have been over for Frost, you know, if Frost wouldn't have cheated. Oh, yeah. no, I want to dive a little bit into what we just spoke about in terms of Piccolo being strong in the Super Saiyan 1 and 2. Now, do you think it's a little too far-fetched to say that, in your opinion, has Piccolo come close to equaling Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Dragon Ball Z at this point? Because, again, we don't know the process of what kind of training he's done. It could be meditation. It could have been in the time chamber. We don't know. But he did tell Gohan that while you were researching and studying this whole time... I was doing my own thing, and seeing how, seeing as how he progressed in this episode and even going forward, would it be safe to say, in your opinion, that Piccolo has either come close to reaching the powers of a Super Saiyan 3, as seen in Dragon Ball Z? Not now, because the power scaling between a Super Saiyan 3 then and a Super Saiyan 3 now is very different. I mean, obviously, they're, strong, they're a lot stronger now, but I want to use the Super Saiyan 3 Goku from Dragon Ball Z when he fought Boo, because I think it's a little bit more comparable, because I don't think that Piccolo has gone far and beyond, you know, a Super Saiyan 3 getting close to an Ultimate Gohan level, but I, I want to know from you, do you think that he's approaching that or near that or has he surpassed that in your opinion well let's look at it like this um if if piccolo were to be as close as a super saiyan 3 i don't feel like there's enough there's enough uh proof for us to even make an assumption like right. that i mean all that we have is that piccolo definitely seemed like he was not breaking a sweat against the super saiyan 2 gohan absolutely not. it, it looks like he was not breaking a sweat so i feel like piccolo might be uh, Super Saiyan, yeah, you know, may, maybe a little bit stronger than a Super Saiyan two, but not quite there as a Super Saiyan three. Gotcha. Um, Ultimate Gohan seemed to be a lot stronger than the Super Saiyan three form in the Majin Buu saga. Yeah, absolutely. You know, definitely a lot stronger than the Super Saiyan three form. So uh, I feel like there's a chance that Piccolo might be very close to a Super Saiyan three level. I just feel like there isn't enough proof in the manga nor the anime to factually claim that um until the actual tournament of power until we see piccolo or someone say wow piccolo you're you're as strong as me in my super saiyan 3 form until somebody says something like that yeah or if there's you know there's an official claim that we can reference we won't know um the, the latest official claim that we know for sure that we can now use as as a feat is that piccolo can body a super saiyan 2 gohan okay that is factual now Piccolo is stronger than a Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. You can't say no to that. That's factual. Until we see something else that says Piccolo is as strong, or if not stronger than a Super Saiyan 3 Goku, we we can't assume. We can't just assume that unless they take the step above and have Piccolo be on par with like a Super Saiyan Blue, like they did Android 17. So you know, oh yeah, oh that would, know, that would that would shake up a lot of fans. Yeah, that would like... that would shake up a lot of stuff if they make Piccolo like be on par and have a battle with with uh super saiyan blue goku i mean then that's that's a completely new different level then then we're like why why did he have difficulty against ultimate gohan and it opens up a brand new window of issues but regardless of the fact i think piccolo is very close to be safe i might as well just say yes you know he's he's gonna be as strong as super saiyan 3 because at this point you know if android 17 actually i'm realizing now if android 17 was as strong as him in the cell saga and they've both been training this whole time it only makes sense that piccolo would be able to do what android 17 can do i mean what do you think no i, I definitely agree in the fact that i don't think that the training differences are, are too far ahead for both 17 and piccolo because you have to ask yourself it's like what kind of training did either one do that was different i think that with piccolo's methods he obviously meditates very similar to how we saw jiren um and for 17 it's like well what has he been doing? Who has he been training with? And I think that whatever the case may be with him, he obviously had had the powers to even keep up with Super Saiyan Blue, so he had to have done something well. But I think that it's a little it's it's a little too far to say that I think that Piccolo would be able to compete with Super Saiyan Blue because I think that number one, it should happen just to just to allow Piccolo to understand the idea that yes. You're going to be fighting people equal to or stronger than this form that I am in currently. So I think that not only would it be a throwback to see Piccolo compete against Super Saiyan Blue Goku, but also seeing as to, okay, if 17 was able to kind of, you know, keep up with Goku for the time being, then let's see if Piccolo can. I think that undoubtedly, right. when, if Goku were to fight Piccolo in Super Saiyan 3 form, I think Piccolo would keep up. I think that Piccolo, even if he does get uh, outbested in terms of strength, and when it comes to strategy, if he decides to you know, uh, replicate his body and just, you know, formulate copies of himself or do whatever, I think that he would definitely throw Goku off guard. Um, in my opinion, I think that in terms of the whole Super Saiyan 3 thing, I think that Piccolo is definitely close to that. Nowhere near 
uh, Super Saiyan Blue level. So I think right. that when when comparing 17 and Piccolo, I, I, I definitely want to put 17 above Piccolo just by what we saw, unless yeah, we see course. something different with Goku and Piccolo being involved in, into where they train. But I think that unlike what we saw in, in the Universe 6 battle, I think that personally enough, Piccolo is going to... Very similar to how we spoke earlier about the Cell Juniors, because during that time, it was a cluster. Everyone was fighting each other. And if you if you remember, uh, Piccolo wasn't just fighting one Cell Junior. Like, he would smack one, charge the other one just to get him off Goku or whatever. Like, he was really putting in work. And even during that time, it's safe to say that those Cell Juniors were even stronger than him. As you said, they were strong. They were just as strong as Cell, and, and they had his powers. He was able to smack one, go for the other, smack him, go for the other. So he was, you know, he was in there when it came to, like, you know, protecting his friends or whatever. So I think that during this tournament, it, something similar is about to happen. But when he comes across the likes of, I think, like, a people like Hit, people like Topo and Jiren, he definitely doesn't stand a chance in terms of power. In terms of ability to outsmart them, that is very possible, as we've seen with Mystic Gohan or Ultimate Gohan and him. Because Ultimate Gohan, as we've stated earlier, is way more powerful than Piccolo is. But he was still able to, you know, blast him from behind and causing Gohan to just, you know, fly forward a little bit because, you know, yeah, you have to look at it. It's like you have to have some kind of power to launch somebody a, a little forward in front of you, even even after they've become significantly stronger, because that blast had to have had like had to have had an effect in causing Gohan to like kind of let out like let, like let out that scream a little bit. Because once right. he got hit, he he let out a scream and then Piccolo's like, yeah, you dropped your guard, very similar to Boo, and also the fact that in this episode, he pointed out flaws in Gohan even prior to them even fighting and he said you know you're fighting like a brute maniac use your brain you know focus and just be mentally prepared so going into this I think that Piccolo has surpassed the Super Saiyan 2 as we've stated before um I don't think he's anywhere you know close to surpassing Super Saiyan 3 I think that he's below that not not too much but if you were to put you know Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Piccolo together I think that either a it would be evenly matched or b Goku would have the advantage slightly because Piccolo has been proven before to, you know, make miraculous comebacks in fighting someone. It, like right. as we've seen with, you know, Cell and 17 and stuff, like Piccolo never was one to cave into a fight. So, um, but any any last words before we go here it pertains to Piccolo and just your overall thoughts on him going into this if you have any final, you know, thoughts on him or if you have anything to say in regards to him being a part of this tournament. Well, well, I have I have faith in Piccolo. All I can say is just with this tournament that's coming up, Piccolo has the experience. He has the tournament experience. You know, he knows the restrictions. He knows uh, the tricks, or he's seen the yeah, tricks. Yeah, he was in the original Budokai's too. Oh, oh yeah, he was. He was. You know, Tien, Shenhan, uh, Krillin. They all have. It's not just about participating, but seeing the tournament, like seeing the tricks that people use to either knock somebody out of the arena or or witnessing techniques and stuff like that. I feel like Piccolo has that knowledge and experience that Gohan, Android 17, Android 18, and Majin Buu do not have. You know, Tien Shin Han, Piccolo, um, Roshi, and Krillin, and Goku, they have that. Gohan and the others don't. Vegeta doesn't have that at all. They don't have a turn. They're they're more of a, you know, brawling, fighting type. Yeah, and and they have to... Kind of characters, yeah. yeah, they don't understand that this is a tournament about teamwork and technique, which is why I'm excited Piccolo and Gohan are going to be working on... From you know, so that that's when I'm gonna. I can't wait. Can see the up and say, "Holy crap!" Piccolo just used person out of the arena with Gohan. Wow! Like that was that was the combo they were talking about. You know, like like we're gonna we're gonna look back on this episode when that happens, and you know, we can we can make maybe make a discussion on that too later on about um, compared to the training. How did the tournament come out? Oh, definitely, be? especially but, after uh, Gohan became a Super Saiyan too. Like Piccolo told him, "Okay, now we're gonna fight serious." It's like, wow, this whole time he wasn't even trying. So. Um, but post your comments down below, guys. What are your overall thoughts on Piccolo? Has he exceeded the powers of Super Saiyan 2? Is he close to Super Saiyan 3? Has he exceeded Super Saiyan 3? Obviously enough, we, we don't believe that he's exceeded or, you know, gotten near anywhere Super Saiyan Blue level. But post your comments down below, guys. This has been myself and Devil Artemis. Devil Artemis, uh, why don't you give the fans a little bit of a sneak peek as to the amazing voices you can do? And I, I think a lot of people are very uh, familiar with uh, Imperfect Cell. And just for a quick little second i want to get imperfect cell's thoughts on piccolo because i remember cell you're in here with us i remember how there was a moment in time where you beat down piccolo and you blew a hole in his chest but now he's stronger than you so what are your thoughts on that 
Listen, Piccolo can say that he's as strong as he'd like to be, but I'm the one who who put a giant hole in his chest. You know, last time that I encountered Piccolo in Nikki Town. Boy, oh boy, I remember seeing him for the first time with his long, green, thick arms. <laughs> y- y- you can say that, yeah, you know, he-, he was weaker than me back then, but now, oh, he is so strong and admirable, and, and his biceps are, oh, yeah. It I was mean, perfect. similar to what you did before, Cell, are, are you going to suck his arms dry? Oh, I'm going to penetrate him with the forces of justice, and I'm going to suck him dry. <laughs> oh. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Devil Artemis. You guys can go on ahead and subscribe to his channel down below. I will leave a link, bro. Thank you so much for joining me, and thank you all for watching. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button if you guys enjoyed the discussion, and myself and Devil want to know down below your overall thoughts on Piccolo. We want to know if you guys agree or disagree, and on that note, everybody thank you all for watching and we'll be seeing you all in the next dragon ball discussion take it easy guys peace later